Hey GCC, welcome to week three of Meat and Potatoes. We're giving you cooking tips along the way because we want you to have a good grilling summer, right? Well, let's say that you've already let your steak sit out so it comes up to room temperature, like we talked about in week one. And let's say you basted the grill with a little bit of oil like we talked about in week two. You cooked your steaks and they come out cold and brown and juicy looking and delicious and you cannot wait to eat that steak. The problem is, you have to wait. Here's why, think about a tea kettle that sits on your stove when you boil the water. When the water gets all hot, the pressure builds because it expands, it actually gets bigger in there, right? And that means that it's just pushing out anywhere it can come out and that's why the steam comes out of your teapot. Same thing is going on with your steak and if you cut into that, when it's piping hot, the pressure from all those juices is just gonna push them right out onto the plate. So do yourself a favor, wait for a couple of minutes, put it on the plate, put some foil on it if you need to, greet your guests, say a prayer, huh? And then after a few minutes, you're gonna cut into that steak and it's gonna be just as juicy as you want it to be.